Gotcha. All right. The last question in this arena is to bring it to now and the problems with we're, we're dealing with this and UNC apps and Columbia and Cornell, et cetera. Uh, how do we balance free speech versus violence in the current Hamas situation, Palestine versus Israel? Everyone's struggling with this. What's, yeah. what's your view? Well, there's how no balancing that? at all. Violence okay. is not protected. This should go without saying. And yet, sadly, uh, surveys that have been done by FIRE and by Heterodox Academy and others show that a distressingly high percentage of students, including on the most uh, elite campuses, say that violence is sometimes justified in order to suppress an idea they disagree with. No, no, no. Not only is violence itself not protected, but speech that has a sufficiently close connection to violence also is not protected. So intentional incitement of imminent violence is not protected. Uh, a true threat that puts somebody in reasonable fear they will be subject to violence is not protected. Intimidating, harassing, bullying expression is not protected. And I think, you know, in a particular situation, uh, one has to evaluate the facts, but from the videotapes I've seen and other evidence I've seen, there seem to be, sadly, many clear-cut situations on campus where not only has there been actual violence, but where the expressive conduct has crossed the line and should and must be punished as unprotected expression for this reason. Um, that when you are engaging in, um, in harassment or threats or intimidation or intentional incitement, you are violating somebody else's free speech rights. You are stopping them from expressing their viewpoint. In fact, you're often stopping them even from exercising their freedom of movement. They feel intimidated, and we read many accounts, intimidated even to leave their dormitory rooms, let alone to go to classes or to go to certain portions of the campus. Last night, one of my best friends, whose husband teaches at NYU, was not able to get into her apartment building because the disruptive, threatening protesters uh, were intimidating her as a Jewish person. And interestingly enough, the police officer said to her, oh, they have First Amendment rights. And you know, this is just as it is very dangerous to meaningful free speech for government to too quickly punish protected speech, it is also dangerous for government not to punish speech that is not protected.